What's tea, honeybees? Back again with another video. Um, and today we'll be talking about my my luscious long. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, today I'll be washing and retwisting my hair, and I'm taking you along so you can see how I do it. So let's go. And, and, and if you talk about my pants, you're a hater because. We're gonna go get a shower and my outfit don't matter. Okay, so first let's start with some lock facts about my locks. So I have been locked for three years as of March 13th, so a little over three years right now. And I have all different type of locks. I have a long lock story and I'm about to share it with you right now. So when I initially locked my hair, I started with two strand twists and i had a different number of locks that i have now so i split a few of mine to make my locks a bit smaller um so i'll give you all just the 360. i haven't had a retwist in about two to three months and that's the longest i've ever been without a retwist before which is currently and that's what it looks like my lock have been bleached and colored before so this lighter color is bleached and when i started my locks i bleached them first and then locked it up and i've done an orange uh color too i'll insert a clip here cute 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 um so yeah that's all about color so let's talk about my cut so as you can see my front is a bit longer than my back and that is due to a few things that I have a few hypotheses about. <laughs> so, like I said, I bleached my hair. Um, and when I initially started, I guess I didn't know how to take care of my locks too, too well. So, my locks one by one in the back began, began to break off. And so, I ended up just cutting it into like this asymmetrical bob shape. So the front is longer and this is probably the length my locks would be at if they didn't fall off because my front didn't break but my back did i also used to do a lot of like high ponytails and high buns pulling the back of my hair up so that's probably another reason why um it broke off so let's get into my lock facts special to myself so this was my very first lock that lock is named Wiz, and I locked it about three months before I locked my entire head. Three, four months. I think it was four months. Just to test it to see how my hair locks, how long would it take, what it looks like. And I actually started that with a coil, but then I ended up locking the rest of my hair with twists. And then the reason why that lock in particular, this one is much shorter than the rest of my hair, is because early on in my life journey, maybe like five months somewhere in there I could still pull apart my locks and I had an internship and they were requesting a hair sample for a drug test so I had to sacrifice one of my locks why I offered up Wiz I'm not sure because Wiz was the my longest lock that I had at the time but that's what I did and here we are now um, my ends are not curly they're blunt ends. Some are curly though. Like some like this. I play with this lock the most. And this also is my longest lock currently. Yeah. And this was just a lock from the back that never broke off. So this is what it would be if my hair never broke off. Let's count my locks and see how many I have.
91 Lux. I've had about 70 Lux before and I've had 106 Lux too. So I've also went in and kind of used the crochet needle and combined a few of my locks. So here's one. It's kind of like a flat shape. Or another has the tail. My most unique lock is this one in the back. It's really oddly shaped. It got two little bumps. I think my thinnest lock is probably this one. It has the least amount of hair in it. And I think all of my locks in the front are my favorite, but my longest one is probably my favorite. This is the thickest lock, thickest and long. When I don't have a retwist, I like to play with this one and like stick my finger through it. It kind of separates on its own. Also, it was one I cut really blunt when I was cutting my hairstyle. So I pull at this end a lot, just, just playing with it. <laughs> parts in the front and then just three parts in the back of one of my neos shout out to abel she helped me part my hair and that's just the way i want it i didn't really care about the back as i do my own retwist so i didn't care about what the parts looked like for real she kind of just took a section of hair um, that was similar size throughout the back of my hair and twisted it up where it's in the front i could see so i care about that a bit more so i have straight rows going until about here in my head. So yeah, that's my life tour and we're about to get into the wash. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the shower and so we're gonna go in with my tingle shampoo and my protein conditioner so I first start by saturating my hair with water I like to soak it squeeze the water in for about five minutes do a little ditty bop eight link check you feel me okay so after them five minutes we're gonna go in with our shampoo and we're gonna do two washes so the first one is gonna be at the scalp cleansing the scalp you know all of that and then we're gonna rinse everything out then we're gonna go back in our second wash and wash the shafts of our locks yep so let's get started so i know all the youtube girlies be like dime size but baby baby we don't do dime size over here okay so I'm just wetting my hair just a little bit more before I started shampooing and I'm making sure to get in there real good, get my hair clean, get a little more product. Don't be scared. Then I'm back to working my scalp, just making sure it is squeaky clean. Also note, I'm using the pads on my fingers and not my fingernails. And then just rinsing that all out, making sure to squeeze the soap through on my way down. And y'all, please make sure to lift up your hair and get the back on the wash too and we're gonna focus on the shafts of our locks hey call me wasteful if you want but i just gotta make sure my hair is clean so now i'm going in and i'm putting a shampoo on my actual locks like the length of my locks making sure to squeeze that in making sure my hair is wet too this just helps clean your locks from the inside out and get anything trapped inside your locks clean So I'm just going through, taking smaller sections, squeezing the product in. I do this all around my head to make sure I squeeze all of my locks. And then once again, squeezing through. Can I get another link check, please? 
okay, done washing. Nah, nah, nah. I know how y'all feel about conditioner, but hey, that's me. I use conditioner, a protein conditioner, occasionally on the roots and shot some hair. So yeah. Again, don't be afraid of the product. And like I said, I'm just putting this all over my head. I want my hair moisturized, especially since it is color treated. So I make sure to go just a little bit further and use conditioner to ensure that moisture is in there. Then I put this little ponytail in and shower. This is me after my shower, just rinsing out all the conditioner and we're almost done. After rinsing my conditioner out, I make sure to squeeze all the water to get my hair as dry as possible to speed up the drying process after I get out the shower. Then I just throw it up in this little bun and call it a day. So fresh and so clean, clean. And then I just use a cotton shirt to wrap up my hair. Okay, hey y'all, I'm back. So my hair is fully dry now. It's actually the next day, sorry. <laughs> but we're gonna move into moisturizing my hair now before we start the retwist. So a few things that I like to use. My handy dandy steamer. I have low porosity hair, so before I locked my hair, I was all into all of that, like low porosity, high porosity, learning everything about my hair. So my hair is low porosity, so the steamer helps lock in the moisture, especially since I have color treated hair, that really helps out. Next, I have my handy dandy everyday refresher spray, I guess. I make it myself. It has um, a few things in there, but I can make a separate video about this, but it's like aloe vera water and some other stuff too. Um, and rose water. It's, it's not just rose water, so it's, that's just what my bottle is in. And then lastly, I like to use a little bit of, oh, so this is the twist and lock smoothie, but it smells really good. Um, this is what it looks like. But yeah, this is the product again. But yeah, it smells really good and it leaves my hair moisturized and it doesn't feel dry. I don't use too, too much, but just a little bit goes a long way. So let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so don't mind that noise. That is my steamer powering up. But first, I start out with my spritz and I spritz all my hair down. So I get the roots, the tips, and everything in between. Get it damp, you know? Rub it, squeeze it in a little bit. You know, you know the drill. Next, I'll go in with a little bit of this. I wet my hand with the product on there so it becomes a little bit more runny because it's pretty thick. Put some water in there and it comes just like that. Focus on the roots. Oh, it's going crazy. Roots, tips, ends, not too much. I'll probably put a little bit more. Squeeze that in. They want to stay. And I just focus on my roots, the shaft, let's get that moisture in there. And I got a funky little one that you turn it on and off and do cycles. But y'all be careful, be careful. This steam is hot and it will burn the mess out of you. I burned myself before. I put it too close to my scalp, baby. Oh, baby, I put it too close to my scalp. That hurt. Just did it now, what? That hurt. And then you just do that to your whole head. So I'll be back once I finish. Okay, finishing up now, y'all. Just finishing up the back. So now your hair should be moist, open, and ready for retwisting. So that is my secret for doing my retwist. And that just helps keep my hair moisturized, healthy, and stop breaking off. So now it's time to do a retwist, and I'll be styling my hair today. I have um, straight twists going in the back and the front, and then two certain twists in the back. So let's go. Okay, hey guys, I'm in my room now. So we're about to get to retwisting. So I use the Jamaican Mango Lime Resistant Formula Locking Gel. This what it looks like for my retwist and it's for the difficult to lock hair extra hold because y'all my new growth be new growth in but that's what it looks like it's really light i really like this stuff because it doesn't leave like build up and 
it still like moisturizes my hair. And then every once in a while, I'll go back in with this and spray my hair if it starts to dry up. So that's pretty much it. The front section probably till about here will be twisted straight back and then the back will be in two straight twists. So I'm about to turn on some Hulu, watch a movie or two and um, retwist my hair and let y'all watch. So I'll be back when I'm closer to the front so I can kind of just turn and show you how to retwist and two strand twist your hair. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little closer and I'm gonna show you all how I retwist my hair and then do the two strand twist as well. So first start off with my locking gel again and just grab a little bit on my finger and basically trace the parts around my hair, around the two that I'm doing. So I'll start with this one, put it on in the back. Since I can't really see here, I kind of just move the hair out the way if I feel it in my parts. See where the hair wants to naturally separate. And that's pretty much all I do. This one is good now. So I twist my locks. I look at my curls, my curl curls this way. So to the right, so I twist it. I don't even use a comb or anything. I just twist my hair. Then I take my lock in between my hands and roll it up. And that tight, you see that tightens it. So boom. Then I just kind of let it roll among itself while I do the second one. Repeat the same process. And I'm pretty much done. I add a little bit more product. My hair is starting to dry up a little bit, so I'll probably spray and then palm roll it. So slow motion, it's in my hand and just roll it up. Don't roll it up too tightly though. And then this one, you see it kind of came loose a little bit. So sometimes I'll just twirl it around my finger to get it back tight. Since we're twisting this way, I twist it within my fingers and that tells you which one goes on top. So you take the one that's on the right, this one, and twist it over the one on the left. Then you make sure it's in the middle of the twist and then you continue twisting like a regular two strand twist. Yeah. grab a rubber band oh I just leave my ends out and that's what it looks like so yeah now you know how to retwist your hair I'm back and now I finished the back of my head and now I am working on the flat twist so this is what it's looking like so far cute 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 so now I'll teach you how to do it. So you grab your section. My hair is starting to dry up a little bit in the front, so I'll spray it down, re-moisturize it, and get some product and apply that to my roots. Kind of just let my locks do its thing. Just whatever works for you. So now we'll begin flat twisting to your head. So First, you want to grab your front, front section and pinch. Then you want to twist it in the direction that you'll be flat twisting. Then take your other hand, pinch and twist throughout the hair of the following locks. So now you see I'm holding these two and now I just picked up the third one as well. Continuing to pinch and twist, pinch and twist to create that long barrel. Then once you reach this lock, you can add a little more product if you like, and then just retwist that one. 
I twirl my hair at this stage because I feel like twirling and palm rolling are the same. So then I match this retwisted lock with my shortest lock. So I'll go with this one and just pair them together to be braided. So braid down four times. So one, two, three, four. And then from here, you'll three strand twist if you like, or you can combine the locks together like this and two strand twist. So top to left, left to right, right to top. And then you just continue that on down and make sure not to cross like you're braiding, but just keep wrapping them around each other like you would a two strand twist only with three strands. I like it because it gives a thicker twist. Then you go as far as you can down to the bottom and then secure with a rubber band. Only do it three times just so there's no breakage or anything. And you see flat barrel going to the back and it's not coming loose because that one in the back anchors it. I'll be back once I finish the rest of my head. Thanks so much for sticking to the end. I have finished my hair. How does it look? Do you like, do you like? Do you like? Don't mind this ponytail. I don't have any setting foam. I don't know where mine went. So I'm just gonna let it dry in this ponytail so it stays in this position and hope that it stays that way. But I have these two little twists in the front and then I did leave out this lock. Just, it actually has a weak spot right here where it's like bending at. So I didn't wanna stress it out and put it in a twist so I left it out. But other than that, these are my locks, all 91 of them. See you in the next video. Peace. And, and, and before I go, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all.